Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Amaya. So, welcome back to my channel. I should probably start saying that in the beginning of my videos. Uh, welcome back, or if this is your first time watching, hello, welcome. So, today's video is going to be another, like, talking, conversational kind of video. I kind of want to do some more of these now that, you know, everything in the world is going on. We're all kind of learning as we're going, so what better way than to just share tips and things you know, that we are learning with everybody. Also want to say before we get into this, thank you so much for all of the love on my last video. I have gotten lots of comments from you guys just saying really, really sweet things and really nice and being very communicative and receptive and just being nice and honest but respectful. And I really, really appreciate it. That's exactly what I wanted to do with that video. I wanted to put that out there. So I'm really excited that, you know, it's getting a good response. So today's video is going to be all about my tips, what I found that's worked for succeeding in school while under quarantine, because we are all online schoolers now. And most of us did not sign up for that. <laughs> Especially those of you that are still in high school or middle school and you're having to do school online and those of you that are in college and did not take a majority of online classes or maybe have never even taken one at all. So I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks, things that I'm doing, things that have always really helped me with taking online classes and things that I'm learning along the way, especially now with this quarantine. So yeah, that's what today's video is going to be about. Without further ado, Let's hop right in. The biggest thing that I find that has helped me stay on track and feeling kind of normal during this whole quarantine is making to-do lists. Whether you're in school or not in school or you're working or whatever. To-do lists are so, so simple and I use this as a way to keep track of my schoolwork. The reason for that is you're not in class every single day talking with your teachers, talking with your classmates, getting updated constantly on deadlines and stuff like that. You have to kind of be a little bit more self-sufficient in your schooling. And I did this even when I was you know, in in-person classes, it just helps me stay organized, but especially now that I am doing online schooling. So how I do mine is I do it on my phone in my notes section. You can do the checklist options so you can actually check things off as you go, which makes you feel like you're accomplishing things and helps you stay positive, helps you stay motivated, and like, you know, you're actually doing something. And then I organize it by day. I do mine Monday through Friday, and then I do a section for Saturday and Sunday. I don't do Saturday and Sunday as individuals because they kind of end up, you know, bleeding into one another. And I also put the date of each of those days next to them. So you remember dates for especially like due dates and deadlines and all sorts of good stuff. And then I will list everything that I need to do on each day. And if I have something that is you know, kind of a big project, I'll break it up into small chunks each day and put those chunks on. If there's something that I know I kind of need to get accomplished, but it doesn't have to be that day, I will put it on there. But if I don't accomplish it, I'll move it to the next day, as long as it's nothing important. But I try to get all the important things done first. But I find that especially for schoolwork, this helps, you know, reminding you to read sections of a book every day if you have to read, a, you know, several chapters or work on your paper a little bit each day if you have one due at the end of the week, something like that. Being online with school is really hard hard. There's so many different things. So that's the biggest thing. If you take anything away from this video, try doing that. It will help you so much. I promise. Okay. And the other thing is relating to the actual schoolwork itself. And this is check your online forms at least once a day. I check mine in the morning, in the afternoon and at night. So I kind of check it three times throughout the day just to make sure that I'm not missing any important information that my professors are not emailing out or they're just putting on the online forum. I especially go and check any discussion posts that I'm involved in to just see if my teacher commented or if anybody else commented. I will go check my grades if I know that I turned something in and I will just check the announcement section, see if any new updates are going on, all that sorts of good stuff, just to stay informed. Sometimes you find nothing and then sometimes you find something really important. I try to check them, like I said, three times a day. I kind of do it when I eat my meals. Help me, you know, remember, but that's a really good one. Okay, this also kind of goes with the whole like teacher professor thing. Email your professors and your teachers. I cannot stress how important that is. Communicate with them. If you're having trouble figuring something out, if you have a question, if you have something that you need clarification on, literally anything, email them because they want to talk to you and they want to help you. Most of them. I mean, I'm sure there's some of those crabby professors out there that are just nasty, but most of the time your professors want you to succeed. By communicating with them, it shows them that you are also engaged and take a good amount of care in your learning experience. I work in a tutoring center, so I have like friends that are also professors and they say the number one thing is that sometimes online students just kind of like disappear and it's like, where were you? Where 
are, where'd you go, are you here? You know, so making sure that you're still communicating with your teacher is really, really helpful because it lets them know, hey, I'm still here, I'm still taking your class, and I care about my learning, and you know, it's just a good time. Also on the topic of schoolwork, if you have the time, do as much work ahead of time as possible. And I don't necessarily mean completing things weeks in advance, but I mean not saving a paper to the last minute. Because now that you're online, you're at home. It's very easy to kind of get caught up in all the other stuff you want. It's very, very, very easy to get caught up in all of the other stuff like Netflix and TV and Instagram and all that sorts of fun stuff. Even just sitting on the couch and doing nothing. It's very easy to get caught up doing that. So doing work ahead of time and breaking things up into smaller chunks helps you accomplish things and makes you feel like you're actually doing something and it's not like this crazy scramble at 11 o'clock at night to finish a paper. It's a lot easier. Trust me. And then the last thing that I have to do with school itself is to discuss your assignments or maybe things that you're working on with your friends or family. So this one's something that I have always done just because I like sharing what I'm learning and I like to blab about it. It helps you, one, stay engaged in your learning, two, remember things, and three, it helps you get that social aspect that you're missing out on. Some of you may enjoy being at home and not having to discuss, but if you're someone that likes participating in class discussions or even just talking with classmates, talk with your family and friends if they're interested. I have some lectures that I actually watch with my mom and sisters and then we kind of talk about it. I like to have my friends, you know, proofread my papers or just kind of give their feedback or opinions on it. You get that social interaction, it helps you remember things, and you also just feel engaged in what you're learning. It's really fun. Give it a try. Give it a try. Okay, so the next few things that I have to talk about are just things in general that everybody should do during this quarantine to help them out. So the first thing, first thing, have a regular sleep schedule. I know it's so easy to go to bed really late, wake up really late, or you know, go to bed really early and wake up whenever you want. I know it's super tempting, but as much as you can, try to keep somewhat of a normal sleep schedule. And this doesn't have to be the sleep schedule that you had while you were in school. Try to keep a sleep schedule that is just good for you. So for example, I like going to bed early. I go to bed between nine and 10, like every night. Sometimes like literally nine o'clock. Cameron and I like to go to bed, I don't, I don't know. But I always try to wake up between seven and eight o'clock. I can't really wake up later than that. I'm an early bird, but I try to wake up, you know, between seven and eight o'clock so that way I have a productive day and I try to do that every single day. It'll help your body stay, you know, on a nice regular schedule. Our bodies like that. It'll also help your mind stay nice and clear, nice and focused, and just on a regular sort of schedule like you would be if you were in school. Also on keeping a schedule, keep some sort of regular school schedule. And this doesn't have to be doing your work at the same time you would do your classes. Although I do recommend that if you like doing that. If you had classes at times that you really, you know, felt like you could focus really well or you really enjoyed, then definitely keep doing your classes and your classwork in those time frames, but you don't have to do that. For example, I'm someone that works really well early in the morning. I don't know why, but the afternoons I just kind of like zone out. <laughs> I'm done. I always do my schoolwork usually like a half hour after I wake up is when I start and I usually try to finish it by like lunchtime or a little after and that just seems to be my productive time and I do that every single day even on the weekends. So if you have a productive time that you feel works best for you, then try to keep that schedule for your schoolwork. Like I said, it'll help you be productive, you know, help you actually get stuff done, keep you focused, and that way you can kind of keep somewhat of a schedule. Because let's be honest, when you're on a schedule, sometimes you function better. I know some people don't, but I'm one of those people that I function so much better when I'm on some sort of schedule. <laughs> okay, this one is kind of, you know, one that some people might like and some people might not, but this is to take advantage of the extra time you have and you know take care of your body a little bit work out a little bit and i know that we can't go to the gyms because the gyms are closed but there are so many great youtube videos online that talk about at home workouts i know a lot of youtubers that are health and wellness have been putting these videos out recently because they're in high demand you can do these without any equipment at all and it's kind of fun you know even if you just take 15 minutes to a half an hour for yourself just to do a little workout you'll feel really really good in your body even if you just do some yoga it helps. All right, this one is something that I have been really trying to do 
a lot of and this is to do at least one fun thing a day so when I say fun thing this is something that maybe you haven't done in a while or something that you just feel is really inspiring to you for me I really like baking and cooking so I try to you know make something once a day or every few days it makes me feel really happy inside it makes me feel like I have something to look forward to and I just feel really good after I'm done doing it I also really enjoy going out for walks with my dog when I can or going to a park and walking around filming videos just doing my makeup something that gets you out of the slump of just kind of sitting at home and not knowing what to do try to do it like you know at least once a day you can do it more if you want but at least once a day try to do something even if it's just short that's fun and the last thing and I cannot stress this enough you guys I cannot stress this enough please take care of your mental health. With all of this going on, there's kind of a mental health crisis going on. A lot of people can't meet with their therapists and mental health professionals, and it's really, really hard. So please, please, please make sure that you are doing something, anything to help take care of that, whether it's, you know, just journaling, talking with somebody, doing meditation, relaxing, you know, logging off of social media for a little bit. Whatever it is that helps you feel better mentally, please, please do it and relax. Take some time for yourself. Even if you just kind of do like a nice skincare routine, chill out, even if you're just watching some, you know, YouTube videos, anything like that. Something that you really enjoy doing that helps you relax and that's going to help your mental health. There's someone walking into my room. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I could hear you like creaking in. And I was trying to finish my sentence, but it didn't work. I'm sorry, I tried to be quiet. It's okay, you're gonna just stare at me. <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> Listen, man, I only got a minute 53 seconds right, left right, and I don't want to have to restart this. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so really anything that helps you relax and feel good about yourself, you really want to make sure that you're doing because it sucks. We're all cooped up inside. If everyone could have their way, they'd go back to things being normal. At least I know I would. And it kind of sucks because we can't control that. But the one thing we can control is how we react to it, of course, and things that we do to help it. So like I said, do something that's gonna help your mental health, keep taking care of that, and find help if you need it. So, that is everything, you guys. Those are my tips. I think there was 10 of them, although I could be wrong, I always get these number things wrong. Um, but that should be 10 things that'll help you succeed in school and in life while you're in quarantine and having to do this online school crap. It's been a struggle, but hopefully these things will help, you know, make it a little easier and just in general make your life a little bit, a little bit easier. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, if you wanna. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.